welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and it's time to put more gas in the tank. Yep, we're over here in our little corner of the internet, solving Sudoku puzzles with as much logic as we can, and today I'm going to have a go at five in a row of the genuinely approachable Sudokus that are being created by Sam Kappelman Lines, Clover, and Philip Newman. They're all on the uh, Daily Sudoku channel on our Discord server, and the links to that are in the under the video along with the links to our merchandise look at this mug cracking the cryptic in a mug fantastic and um, all our apps and where you can go to join up join us on patreon and there are still five days left to complete the looney tunes challenge um, that is a sudoku hunt to decide who gets the sandwich out of three Looney Tunes characters. Um, so loads going on. Uh, also, we are streaming The Witness every few days. Um, I don't know if Simon's going to do that on Friday. Not sure exactly what day he's going to choose. Um, he may have chosen it already and I may not know. Anyway, today, as I say, these are genuinely approachable puzzles. So they are... Anybody can do these. If you just study the rules and think about it, you can get through these puzzles. And I do urge you to try because they are always good fun. Even if you're fairly new to Sudoku, these are a really good way of getting into some of the basic variant forms. So what I'm going to do is go through the rules of the five puzzles, which I've just loaded up, not really looked at yet. So, And then I'm going to try and solve them and I'll put the clock on myself as well. Uh, so, for this first one, from August the 26th, I'm still never catching up. I must do these every five days, because I never seem to catch up. Um, anyway, this is called Three in a Row by Sam, and normal Sudoku rules apply. That's the numbers one to nine in each row, column, and box. Uh, now, each line, that's these grey lines, contains either three odd digits or three even digits. Okay, so we're obviously going to have to work out which parity applies to which line. The second puzzle has lots of little black circles with numbers in. Digits in cells connected by a black dot must have the ratio given. So, okay, that's either two or three, it seems. So these cells must have a two to one ratio. That one's called Triple Double by Philip. Then we have Clover's puzzle for this stream. This has got numbers outside the grid. It's called Even Sandwich. Whenever a digit is shown outside of a row or column, very American grammar, that digit must be sandwiched between two even digits in that row or that column. Right, so in this column, nine must be sandwiched by two even digits. Um, so it must appear in between, directly in between 2 out of 2, 4, 6 and 8. Not all possible sandwich digits are given. Fair enough. Haven't, I've seen that variant before, but not for an awful long time. <laughs> okay, am I seeing it again? If a number is given outside the grid, English grammar from Sam, then its two direct neighbours in the corresponding row or column must both be even. Yes, okay, exactly the same rules. How bizarre. I don't know if that... It's unlikely to be a coincidence. I guess Sam and Clover must have uh, planned to do those two back to back. And then August the 30th, to me, my... Don't know what that means. As always, Philip Newman's references are a bit beyond me. Um, and he always puts interesting titles. Right here, clues outside the grid are the sum of the first X digits in the corresponding row or column, starting with the digit adjacent to the clue and continuing away from the clue where X is the adjacent digit. So this is what we know as X sums. So, for example, and it gives an example for a 19, but let's look at this 20. Um, if those th four digits had a four there, then the four digits would add up to 20. If there was a three there, the first three digits would add up to 20. If there was a five there, the first five would add up to 20. That's how this works. So intriguing that these are all approachable. Looking forward to this. Let's just get right on with it and let's get cracking. Um, I'm going to hope to try and remember to restart so I can time myself every time. Here we go. Um, 
Okay, regular Sudoku. Five and a five gives us a five there. Um, there's a one in one of those two cells. I'm not. Oh, six goes there in the bottom row. Four in one of those two. Hopefully, I will just stumble into learning the parity. Ah, that's a five four pair. Yes, they can go in. Then we have two three seven up there. That gives me a one there, eight and nine. Five, three, seven in the top row. That one can't be five, nor can that. So this is five. That is three or seven. Now that's definitely odd, therefore. So I have stumbled into some parity. So this is seven or nine. Five, seven, oh, and that's one, three or nine. So maybe that wasn't the best place. Right, eight and seven there. They are a naked pair. Then we've got a nine here. That is a naked single because it sees all the other digits. Two, three, seven, eight. So that's not nine. In fact, that's not three either. That's one. We get a six there. Six, eight, seven, five. One of these is a one. I can't rule out that it's there from the line. One of these is a six. I just need one more. Oh, that is seven or eight. But, okay, I've got this five on the line. So we know whether it's seven or eight as a result. Um, so this is also odd and must be three. That fixes the rest of box nine. Th four, eight, and five. That's an eight, naked single. And we've got four and five there. Now, do we know about the parity? No, not yet. Two or nine. One of these, that is a five. That is a naked single two, so that tells us about the parity. Oh yes, we can have repeating numbers on these lines. Not on that one, but on this one, clearly, that's what we get. Eight, I hadn't really thought about that. Nine, four, five, so one, three, and six in these cells. Let's see if we can deduce the parity. Not yet. Six, eight, seven, five, one, not sure there. Oh, I'm running out of places to look. Um, oh, bother, okay. It toughened up a bit suddenly. Got a seven somewhere there. This is hardly worth pencil marking. Eight there. Six, eight, seven, five. So I'm going to have to work out something else about a line somewhere. To get this done, one, five, four, six. So you've got an eight somewhere here. Seven, eight. Oh, am I missing something here? It was all going so well. Five and five, that has to be a five. That has four fives looking at that box. So we know where the five goes there. Now, eight can't be there as a result. This is odd, is three or seven. This one is a one, that's all it can be. It sees the other odd digits. Okay, so are we through? Is that doing it? That puts a one here. Seven or eight in this cell. Seven, eight, and nine to place in this column. Ooh, this line, that's a seven. It's, it's a naked single, so that's a three. Oh, come on, five, seven, three, one. One of these is a two. One of these is a nine. What about six? Oh, why didn't that work? Because I was on the wrong thing. Six is in one of those two cells. Five, three, one, and four? Four is somewhere up here. I don't know. Oh, is the only possibility for this even? It sees one, three, five, seven, and nine. Yes, that should do it then. That is four or eight. This is two or four. Hasn't quite done it. We know it's parity though. Do we know that this? No, we don't. That's eight or nine just by the column. One, two, nine, three. This one is one or two. Oh, I'm not quite getting through here. Oh, come on. 
This has been very clever in holding me up here. One of those is a four. Oh, yeah, that's even. This one, should I know the parity of this? If that's eight, this is eight. But if it's seven, this is nine, then this is eight. That's, yeah, I know that's even. Come on. One, four, three, five, six. It must be all about this line. Five, four, seven, eight, six. What am I not seeing here? Three, four, nine, six, seven, or eight in that cell. Oh, this is frustrating. Four, six, four, seven, or eight there. One of those is a four. Oh, Mark, it feels like a complete crash and burn now. That is three or nine. So I know it's parity, which doesn't help me at all. There, seven, looking up at that. Stormtrooper scanning as usual. Right, now that must surely get us somewhere, doesn't it? Two or three, one, two or three there. Maybe it doesn't. Nine puts a nine there. Right, that puts an eight on this line. So we know it's parity. That fixes the whole of the line. And that should get us done, I think. Seven there, put seven there. This is now even. So that's two. That is two or eight. That's now a four. That's a four. Uh, that's probably a four as well, yes. One, seven, four, so six and nine. Oh dear, that really took some doing. Very clever puzzle, actually. I mean, it is genuinely approachable, but it's certainly got, what shall we say, pitfalls for the unwary. That's an eight, two there, eight there, six there. Okay, seven and a half minutes. I don't think I'm going to get two hats for that. Those are the awards. Two hats for a quick solve, dependent on the time allocated to the puzzle. One hat for a slower one and a dinosaur if you just get through it. Anyway, right, let's restart this one. This is the triple-double with the ratios. So there's a three there. Is that six, two or three, one? I don't know. But surely these, those have to be the same parity given these twos. So they're all even. So this can't be six, two. There's the answer. That is a three, one. This is two or six because of this two. That makes this either six or two as well because of the three. They could be even. Oh, there's a triple, a double three there. So I think that's got to have three in the middle of one and nine, if I'm working that out correctly. So that has to be a one, two there, nine there, because that's the only way to fulfill that. Then we get a six here. We now know that's three, one, that way round, six, two. This is two, four, eight. The four must be in the middle. It's a sequence. So this has to be six with a two. I mean, I've got a handle on this one a lot better. Again, two threes gives us a one nine. We know which way round they are because of the two next to them. That's exactly symmetrical to the top left. Possibly the whole puzzle is. That's the sort of thing Philip would do. Um, we get a two here. Now, what about that? Is that four eight? Yes, it's got to have an even... Oh, it, yeah, I think it is. It's got to have an even number on it because of the two. And two is gone. So four, eight, two, six, three. So that's a seven, five pair. Nine and one can be filled in in the column I've just seen. Then we get a nine here. Um, five, six, three, two, four, one, two, six, four, seven. Just looking for things that'll go quick. Right, six there, eight and two. They're all done. Six there is the last place. Uh, actually, we can probably finish off remaining sixes. It was the last place in the first three 
columns, 6, 2, 1, 3, 9. Oh, this, same thing, 2, 6 there, needs an even number, must be 8, 4. That's now a 7 with a 4, 5 pair here. 6, 4, 3. That's a naked single 1. 2 must go there in the column. 8 and 4 can be finished. 1 is there. This is a 7, 9 pair. 9 in column 2 is there with a 5, 7 pair at the top and a 4, 8 pair. 5 and 2 can be completed. That fixes 5 and 7. This is 9 and 3. 1 and 7 down at the bottom. Um, 1, 2, 6, 4, 8, 9. So let's look up that column. That's no use. That's a 9, 8 pair. We can do those. 3, 5, we can't, but that gives us a 1 up here. 3, 5, 7, triple at the top. That one can't be 3. Oh, this is the 4, 5, and 7. Right, that is 3 and 5. Yes, 7 goes there. So that fixes 9 and 7. How is, oh, there's a little 3 clue that I hadn't seen. I was thinking I had a deadly pattern, but it's all resolved. And I think we are in business now. Surely that's going to finish off most things. 9, 3, so we've got 4, 5, and 7. That's a 5. 7, 4, that's a 7. Let's go over, no, let's do this first. 3 there. So that puts 3 here, 5 there, 7, and 5. So that's a quicker one. 4 minutes and 10 seconds for me there. Now, the first of the two even sandwiches. It's very strange to get two puzzles of the same type here. Um, right, so this column, right, yeah, that's simple. Three has to be there to, with four there. That's the only way to fit it into an even sandwich. Um, nine must be there and one, five, seven in the rest of the column. Uh, let's find another easy one. I'm not sure. Oh, yes, this one. Two, four, six. So one must be there with eight there. There was another easy one. Exactly symmetrical. These guys do that to sort of help us out, I think. Now, let's try and fit a one in between even digits here. It's got to be in one of those two cells. Ah, oh, this three comes between two even digits really help much. A one can't be there or there by Sudoku. Uh, it might be there or it might be somewhere else. Right, five. Oh, lovely. Five in this row between two even digits. That now has to be here. That's very pretty. Sorry about my mistyping. One, two, five, eight. So this is a three, four pair. No, it's not. We've got three in the row. That's absolute bobbins. Oh, bobbins. Um, two, three, four. So, oh, come on. Where where do we go next? Five. Is that going to be a five? Hang on. Yes, it is. One, five, seven. So that five is between even numbers. There is a lot of symmetry in this one. Now, does three go there? Four is marooned over here. Three doesn't go here because that would have to put... Oh yeah, it could, six could be there. It might go there. Oh, come on. Maybe the columns. Oh, this five is between even numbers as well. Right. Six and four. Now, right, three is in one of those cells with eight on its other side. So it has to be there with eight there. No, that doesn't work. Hang on, what am I missing? Right, three can be there with eight there. Eight has to be in the sandwich. This is the point. Okay, sorry about the confusion. Nine there, one seven pair. Now seven has to be sandwiched, so it's not next to a nine. So the middle box is done. That one is sandwiched, so we get a six, five. That three sandwich, we've done that. That 
five is sandwiched. So we know where the odds are here. Um, don't know if that helps. One of those is a two. Uh, that seven is sandwiched. This nine is sandwiched. So that's a two and a four. And again, we know where the odds are and it doesn't help much. Oh, okay, one can't be there. So one is here. Am I right about that? Yes, I am, that's all right. So that's an eight. That makes this a six. So we've got, what have we got to put in the column? Three and five. I can't see which way around they go. Four, five. Has to be a four in those cells. Oh, come on. Those are two and four. So that's a two, four, eight, triple in box one. One and six can be filled in. There must be a one in those cells. I hate having to suddenly go to corner marks in this. Eight, one, two, six. Seven in box four is there. So row five can be finished. That puts a one there. We've got a five, seven pair here. We get a three here. Nine, five, yes, we can do that pair. Um, two, eight, one, nine, and three. So the one in this row is there, three and nine. Right, can we do this row now? One, five, and seven. Yes, that's a seven. So this is part of a one, five pair. Oh, I still don't quite know. There's probably one, yes, this three clue along the bottom. Right, three can't be there or there. So three must be here. This is even, that's a two. Six there, because there's a two, eight pair in the box. Nine and two, that's gonna fix box one entirely. Four there, this has now become a five, three there. Okay, so this wasn't quite as quick as it could have been, but not too bad. Three and a four, yes, we can do them. Seven and four here. So that's a two, seven and five, one and five, eight and two. Five minutes, 38. I mean, that ought to be okay for two hats. And maybe the practice on even sandwich will help with this puzzle. We shall see. Um, so restart on the clock. Let's get going. Now, is this going to be totally different in some way? One is between two even digits there. Two. So even numbers are sometimes sandwiched here. So that is four, six, or eight as well. Now that gives us a triple in the box. Don't know. Um, seven here, so again the symmetry. Oh, that has to be a two, four pair now. That six is also sandwiched. So actually those numbers are just coming. Right, this five is sandwiched between a two and an eight and a two four or eight this three is sandwiched so that's six or eight this is two or eight so that's a two eight pair yeah one seven nine triple now four is getting sandwiched between even digits in this row so it's either there or there that's weird um oh that can't be eight there's definitely an eight in one of those cells. I don't think that helps. That can't be a nine. That can be and probably is a nine, although it doesn't have to be. That can't be a seven. Oh, okay, those are even digits. So eight is sandwiched between two of two, four, and six. So I don't think it can be anywhere apart from here in this column, so that is an eight with a two or a four there. That fixes two and eight here. Yeah, this does need thinking about in a slightly different way. It's weird. Now in this column, 
Well, the trouble is that could... No, this can't be even because of the 4, 6, 8 triple. So that's not 6. They can't both not be 6 and 6 be sandwiched. So that's 6. And this is the other even number. Wow, that's a weird one. 4, 2, 6, 8, 7. Everything else in this column is odd, but I don't know much about the odd numbers. Right, 5's done, 6 is done, 7's done. 2, 4 pair there. I don't know much about the odd numbers in that column either. I'm so sure that's going to be 9, but I can't write it in yet. Ooh, 9 is going to get sandwiched in this column, either there or there. 6, we've done that. 3 in this column, I don't know where that goes. 9 in this column, I'm sure I don't know where that goes. Oh, come on. 3 is in one of those cells in this row. 3 can't be there, so it's in one of those. Wow, 2 is in one of those. It's probably just some ordinary Sudoku somewhere. Six. Ah, oh, four has to be sandwiched. If that was four, we've got two, four, six there, and that's eight. If that's four, that's still eight. Weird. Okay, but that seems to have sorted out that triple in the top box. Um, does it help anything? It puts a six in one of those positions. So the four is, no, the four now has to be here to be sandwiched, yes. Oh, that could never be four. That was the way to look at it, right. Two, two, so that fixes the four and two there as well. Twos are done. Four is going to end up in one of those cells. Six is there. And in one of these cells with a three. Three, six, two. So the others are five, seven, and nine in the row. This is definitely a harder puzzle, I feel. Seven, two, six, I mean, it's still approachable. I'm not quibbling with that in any way, but it is a bit harder. Um, now, where's nine gonna be? We've got a six, that's even. Nine could well be here with another even there. This can't be even. And if 9 was down here, it would be 4, 9, that would be 8, so 2 there, and that's impossible. So 9 can't be down here anywhere, I think that has to be the 9. This is 2, 4, or 8. These are a 5, 7 pair. That's 1 or 9. I think we've done all the across clues now, unless I've missed some implication. That's a 3-5 pair. Four's in one of those. So it's the down clues. Right, we've got a sandwich and nine. Hit. Oh, it's nearly become impossible. I think nine has to be there. That makes this a one. Five there. Three there. Right, eight is sandwiched. How are we going to get a seven? Can't be there. I think seven has to be here with a six above it. Nine in this column. I don't want to predict that yet. Maybe I can. We've done that nine. We've done that six. We haven't done three here. And it can't be here. It could be there or there, though. So let's just do ordinary Sudoku. Three there, a one seven pair. That's a two nine pair. Now we've got a one here, naked single, four, seven there. Now three could be in between two and four. Bother. Um, now eight and two are placed. Four, nine, six seems possible here. Unlikely as it is, it cannot be ruled out yet. One, five, nine, six, two, three, four, eight, nine. That is a nine with a 4-8 pair here. So that's a 4-8 pair in the row, so I can finish off the other cells. 9, 6, 2, that makes it 2, 9. 
Now this can't be a 3. Perfect. 5, 3 there. 3 must be here to be sandwiched anywhere in the column. That gives us a 2, 7. We can fill those in. Then we've got 5, 3 there. 7, 3, 9, 6. Don't look along the row. Look down the column. 5, 9 pair there. 1, 4, 6 down here. Oh, I don't know. This is actually quite an intricately constructed puzzle, I think. Um, am I still missing, missing something? Nine in this column, of course. Is it there or in one of these positions? Two, seven, four, eight. Three in this row has to be here. Four, seven, six. That's one or eight. That's one, eight or nine. Nine, six, that's one or four. So this is the only place for two in the row. Two, nine, three, six. That's one or five. I don't, I'm just stumbling around here now. One, five and nine there. Okay, I'm gonna use a one, five, nine triple in the bottom row. So that's eight. Okay, that is actually extremely helpful. Ah, oh, that's a nine. Nine is not in the middle. I was going to swear it was going to be. Nine now has to be in one of those cells with a six on its other side. So nine in one of them with six next to it. Oh, this is so weird. Three, seven, two, six, eight. That's one or nine. Seven has been done. Two, three, eight, nine, six. So these are from one, four, five, and seven. Oh, come on. That one, five, nine, triple again, of course. So this is six or seven. This is nine or six, because it's part of the sandwich. Oh, it can't be nine, six there, because that would be a one, right. Good grief, that's taken a while. Okay, some of that is me not being on top form. Let's, let's put it that politely. But some of it is that this is a very clever puzzle, actually. Um, that's a one, seven there, five and one, nine and five, Five must be there, that fixes seven and five. Oh, I can finish off the eight and four while I'm here. One and seven, one and nine down here. There we go. Uh, 10 minutes, oh wow. Oh, not so good, not so good at all. Right, but we move on undaunted to the fifth puzzle, to me, my, this is the X sums. Okay, let's uh, start the clock and get cracking. A 40 there and a 5 there. Well, this can't be 8 because that would be a 5 which would disobey the rule. In fact, that's got to be a 2. This now has to be a 7 and that row is done. This, again, it's not an 8. That is a 7. This is 2, 1 and that row is done. All of these rows seem to add up to 45, which is very interesting, the two clues. So here, that six can't be a one, and now it can't be a two. So that's three with two and one there. This must be a six. This nine can't be a two, and it can't be a one. Must be a three. That makes this a six, because if those add up to nine, those add up to 36. You do know the secret, I hope, that um, has to be a four, that each row adds up to 45. That must be a five. This could be five, it can't be eight, that would be too much. So just by Sudoku, that's a five. This must be a four, these three add up to 10. Do they have to have a one in? No, they could be five, three, two. Um, right, these two add up to six, but I don't know whether they're two, four, or one, five. 
to 7. That is a 1 by Sudoku. We've got an 8, 9 pair still to go. Haven't used the column clues at all. 6, 7, 8, and 9 in those cells. 3, 2, 1, 6. We've got 1, 8, and 9 in the final column. Um, what else can we do here? We've got a 20 here now. That is 3, 4, or 5. 6 would be too many. This 14 has to now be 3 or 4. If it's 3, they add up to 11. If it's 4, they add up to 9. And they would be 3, 6. So 3 must be in one of those two cells. If, they are, if it's 11, they would be 5, 6. So they're either 3, 6 or 5, 6. Not quite sure how to use that. This oh, 20 and 25, again, they're opposite each other. So this can't be a 4 because that can't be a 5. This is, oh, this also can't be a 4. So we get that. 3 there. That's a 9, 8 pair. This is, again, wonderful construction. That can't be an 8 or 9 now. Grief, that's clever. Um, that's 4 or 5. Now, we've virtually used all the clues. Haven't used that one properly. Haven't tried this one. But this now can't be a 6. If it was an 8, that's surely too much. Yes, it is. So this is a 7. These two add up to 15. They must be 6 and 9. But we've got an 8, 9 pair there. That's handy. Um, 4, 5, and 8 to go in those cells. That's become a 4 now. So these two do add up to 9. Let's just get rid of the pencil mark. 5, 8, and 9 here. We've, that can't be a 4. We've got 5, 6, and 8. Uh, 3, 2. That's a 6. 3, 2, 6, 7. Now we know that. We've done that. We haven't done... Yeah, we've done this clue. So I think... I've, oh, no, I haven't done this one. 4, 11. That's a 2 and a 1. Right, and we know the order. Uh, five, three, eight, nine. So the three is there. That's eight, nine. This is six and seven. We can do those. That's not a one now. Six, eight, nine, triple. So two and three. Uh, three, eight, nine, seven, six. Come on, come on. That's three. That's probably not where I should be looking. They can't have an eight in because of the eight, nine pair. Also, 8, 9 pair, so that's 5. Now, another 8, 9 pair. That's 4 or 5. That's where 1 goes. Oh, it's not 4 or 5 because there's another pair. Pairs all over the place in this one. Just like a Perry Orchard. Uh, oh, that's a 5. 8, 4, 3. That is 1, 2, 5, 3, 4, 8, 6. And the column is there. That's a 7, 9 pair. This is 8. That's 9. This is 8 and 9. 4, 8, 5 is a triple. But we've got an 8, 9, 3, 8, 9, 6, 7. So it's a 4, 5 pair. 1 and 2, another pair. 1 and 2 go in there. 9, 6, 5. That's a naked single 4. Oh, this is disgusting. I've got another deadly pattern, but this 9 clue, I haven't used it. That's resolving the deadly pattern. Thank goodness. Um, that's 8 or 9, so this is 5. 5, 1, 3, 2, 8. This is a 9, because it sees an 8 at the other end of the grid. That looks back across at that. This is brilliant. I mean, what a puzzle again. We have been treated to some incredible puzzles in this series and on this stream. I mean, on this uh, video. Seven and four there. That's a six. Seven, eight pair. Nine must be here. Four must be there. That's become nine and eight in that order. Right, I can now do five, six. What's this? A seven and a two. That fixes seven and eight. Five and eight are resolved. There we go. 
So not too bad with that one. Six minutes, 21. I'll be very interested to see what my score is. That 10 minute puzzle must have cost me a hat and I imagine the first one did. Not sure about the others. Might have got eight hats here. Um, do, if you want to get these when they come out, subscribe to the Discord server or, or join it and uh, check out that daily Sudoku channel. It really is a great source of puzzles. And frankly, that's been 40 of the most enjoyable minutes I've spent doing Sudoku. Really good fun. Thank you very much for joining me in it. And I uh, hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now. Thank you.